Welcome! Today I'm excited to show you the Reterminal Dashboard Designer, a visual WYSIWYG editor for creating stunning e-paper dashboards without the need to do pixel guessing with YAML code. This walkthrough covers all the new features coming in version 0.5, which is currently available as a release candidate. Let's dive in! The Reterminal Dashboard Designer is a hacks integration. Once installed, you'll find a new dashboard icon in Home Assistant that takes you straight into the designer. The interface is intuitive. On the left, you have your widget palette. The center is your canvas where you design your layout. At the bottom is a live YAML editor that highlights code as you select widgets. And here's the cool part, this synchronization works both ways. Change the YAML and your layout updates instantly. On the right, you'll find detailed widget settings. Let's start building. I'll bring in a sensor widget. Using the sensor picker, I can choose any sensor from Home Assistant. Now, let's add a weather icon. This special widget dynamically changes its icon based on your weather sensor's state, giving you real-time visual feedback. The editor offers rich text options. I can center the text or display the sensor name and value on separate lines for better readability. Let's make the weather symbol bigger and center it. Notice how the editor shows you alignment guides? This makes it easy to keep everything perfectly aligned. Now let's add a rectangle shape and fill it. I'll move it to the back layer so our weather information sits on top of it. Let's change the text and icon to white for better contrast. We can also add a grey frame for depth. Just be careful with grey. It's rendered using a dithering pattern which is memory intensive on the device so use it sparingly. Adding text is simple. I can change the font size and weight to match my style. Everything is drag and drop. Just position it where you want. Watch this. I'll copy this text widget with Ctrl plus C, move the copy to the back and change it to grey. Instant drop shadow. This visual approach lets you design effects that would be nearly impossible if you were hand coding YAML. Let's add a progress bar. Here's a powerful feature, visibility conditions. Set up rules for when widgets appear, just like in Home Assistant. For example, you could show 3D printer progress only when it's actually printing something. The editor supports multiple pages and you can even specify different refresh rates for each page. Want to add images? Just provide a file path and you'll get a live preview in the editor. Resize and position it however you like. This works with remote images too, like screenshots from the Puppet add-on that captures Home Assistant dashboards. Let's add another page and create a graph. I'll choose radon levels in my living room. You can configure X and Y axis information, time and units per division and the duration to display. Perfect for tracking trends over time. Here's a neat touch. You can reorder pages with drag and drop. No need to edit YAML for that. When your design is complete, it's time to deploy to ESP Home. Configure a new device. Copy the hardware template YAML provided. Follow the instructions carefully. Then paste your editor-generated YAML below it. Hit compile and you're done. Once flashed, you'll see all your sensors in ESP Home, both the ones you configured and on-device sensors like battery information. You'll also get handy controls, buttons to jump to specific pages, perfect for automations. And yes, there's even a buzzer with fun sounds including... I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Reterminal Dashboard Designer. If you find this project useful, give it a star on GitHub. Thanks for watching and see you next time.